We need to talk about exposure. Exposure is the brightness of your image. There are five separate things that affect your exposure. It's important that we know what those five things are and how they affect things. The first thing is gonna be your light. The light is the most important thing. If you've got decent light, it's pretty easy to get good exposure. If you've got bad light, it's gonna be a little more complicated. Um, there will be times where you can't use a light. If you're in a movie theater, if you're in a uh, concert, if, if you're you know, in a situation where you're gonna disrupt the audience, you can't use a light. There will also be times where you don't need a light. If you're outside in direct sunlight, you won't need to use the light, and this light isn't bright enough to actually have an effect outdoors in the bright sunlight. All right, so our on-camera lighting is gonna make a pretty big difference here. Um, you can see that if we turn on the light, first of all, you see that this is the dimmer switch, but it's also the power off switch. So if you dim it all the way down to zero, you hear the click and it goes down. Um, most of the time, we're gonna bring this all the way up. Um, if we turn it on, you're gonna see some things have changed See how there's all those dark shadows? So we wanna just bring that light up. It kinda evens things out, makes her pop out a little bit from the background. Um, so that lighting is super important. If you're indoors uh, and the lighting is decent, you probably won't need a light for B-roll, but you will always wanna use a light for your interviews indoors. If you're outdoors in sunlight, it's not gonna matter at all. It's just too bright. But if you're indoors, you'll want that light on. Outdoors at night, you'll probably always need a light. You might need more light than this can supply. Um, if you're outdoors and you're in your vehicle, you can use car lights to help brighten things up. Um, a street light can be a good thing if you can get under a street light and shoot, but um, you're always gonna need a light outdoors at night. After light, the next thing for us to think about in exposure is the neutral density setting, the ND filter. Um, the ND filter is actually a filter there's a physical lens in there that acts like sunglasses for your camera think about when you would wear sunglasses do you wear them at night only if you're Corey Hart these small cameras have three settings for neutral density off one quarter and one sixteenth if it's all the way up to one sixteenth that's gonna look very dark so we can go down to one quarter and it'll be a little bit brighter and all the way down to off would be indoors because we wouldn't wear our sunglasses indoors, would we? No. After the light and the neutral density filter, then we need to think about the iris. We've got the focus ring and then this next ring in is the iris ring. The iris takes the lens and opens it up or closes it. Um, that's listed on your viewfinder as the f-stop. So as we're looking at the viewfinder, the way that we'll be able to tell if our exposure is correct is we're gonna look for the zebra stripes. And right now, I don't see any zebra stripes in our subject. So I'm gonna open that iris more, and whoa, there's zebra stripes all over the place. Well, I don't want that either. I want just zebra stripes only barely in the brightest part of her face. So I don't want them all over her face and I don't want like nothing so she's too dark. I, so not like that. Oh, and here I've got zebra stripes only in the very darkest parts, the darkest shadows. That means her face is gonna be super bright. Um, we don't want that. We, we want something that's more right along the lines of almost no zebra stripes in her face. And you notice there's zebra stripes and other things. There's some, a few zebra stripes in the shirt. There's some zebra stripes on the wall. I don't care about that stuff at all. I don't care about the wall. I don't care about her shirt. I care about her face because the face is what we're focusing on, right? The final two variables in the exposure equation don't really have a priority. The gain and the shutter speed. With shutter speed, think about your lens. Every time it takes a picture, it snaps open and closed. Well, if you have a very slow shutter speed, then it leaves the light open for long and it lets in more light. That's gonna make your exposure brighter, but it's also gonna add motion blur. So anytime there's movement in the screen, there's gonna be a motion trail behind it. 
You can see that the shutter speed is this little dial. Inside of the shutter speed dial, the front of it is the white balance. So those are connected in the same apparatus, but the white balance is the button you push on the front of it, and the shutter speed button is the little dial that you turn. As we look in the viewfinder, we'll see that shutter speed is gonna be a fraction, one over something. From the tests that I've done with these cameras, it looks like a 1 60th shutter speed is gonna be pretty adequate in most lighting situations, even if you're in fairly low light, like down in the control room. There will be some exceptions. Um, as we get into low light, we might need to boost it. If you need to, you could go down to 130, but we wanna be thoughtful of how much motion blur it's gonna add. So we need to think about, is there motion in the shot? Is there not motion in the shot? So if you're in a super low light situation and you can't open the iris anymore and you can't, um, get the shutter speed down low enough, then you could boost that gain. If you're familiar with still photography at all, if you use a DSLR, you're gonna recognize gain is essentially the same thing as ISO. Um, we don't have quite as much control over the gain as we would with ISO. There aren't as many different steps. With the gain, we have low, medium, and high. And the way we have these cameras set up, low means zero decibels of gain. We have no gain on the low position. If I move it to medium, M, now I have nine decibels of gain. And if I boost it all the way to high, I have it set up so that we'll have 18 decibels of gain. If you use a combination of 18 decibels of gain, plus bring the shutter speed down to 1 30th or even 1 15th, you can lighten up almost every situation. If, we, if, if I turned off all the lights in this room right now, and put the gain on high and put the shutter speed down to one seventh of a second, it would look like daylight in here essentially. So those are the five variables involved in exposure. The light, the neutral density filter, the iris, shutter speed, and gain.